So now let's talk about uh, how can you win hackathons, right? So I'll give you three ideas, three ideologies that you have to keep in mind when you are participating in a hackathon and you are uh, pitching for the final submission, right? So first of all, Hey there, this is Akshat Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we are going to talk about a very, very significant thing that is there in the college life that is winning hackathons. So first of all, before we talk about how to win in hackathon, it is important that we know where we find these hackathons, how we know that these hackathons are happening in your area or in your college or in your uh, city, country or in the world, right? And how or why I am eligible to make this video that I, with the help of my team, has won around six hackathons in my college life from first year to fourth year. So I think that I am uh, really, I can really help you in um, guiding this thing, guiding on this topic, like how can you win a hackathon or how can you find hackathons. So uh, there is one more thing like, uh, uh, which makes me eligible to make this video is that in my college life around two years went in the COVID period. So we were all in lockdown. So there was no college activity uh, majorly going on that offline hackathon. So uh, me and my friend decided to just go on the internet and find these websites where uh, all these hackathons are listed. So I found all these websites in my college life and we were able to win these six hackathons, right? So I think lots of talk is now done. And first of all, thanks a lot for 11,000 subscribers. I hope that this journey will continue. And I this really motivates me to make lot of such important topics for college students, for startup founders, for tech enthusiasts, for freshers on these important topics, right? So without wasting more time, let's get started with the main topic and let's see the first website. So first website that I want to tell you is Hacker Earth. Now, mostly this website or this company is known for placements, for competitive programming, right? But there is a lot other things also that are there in this website. So you need to go on hackerearth.com and click on for developers, click on start coding. And one of my friend was also uh, got placed in PayPal uh, as he won a hackathon through this website, right? So this is a very uh, good thing and you can really make note of it or uh, you should or really give it a try, right? So on this Hacker Earth, now you need to click on hackathons. Now if you're preparing for jobs, for internships and you're really interested in uh, uh, competitive programming then you can go on jobs or you can be, go in practice they will find all the cp questions but now let's talk about hackathons so go in this hackathons and there you will find all the live hackathons that are happening currently right right at the moment and you can see that there are 48 days left to uh, fill a submission so you can really do it right now if you're watching this video and you can also see upcoming challenges right so there is web3 hackathon uh, there is dow global so web3 hackathons are really now have taken a good speed and pace and most of the companies like Polygon, then uh, uh, Luna is now gone. So uh, Bitcoin, then Ethereum, they are really uh, collaborating with major other companies and these hackathons companies to uh, hire students because you know you already know that blockchain has just, uh, not just, but it has recently gained a lot of boom and there are not a lot of blockchain developers. So these companies are promoting this hackathon culture to hire more and more good engineers and good students, right? So yeah, this is it. And you can really see the previous challenges if you are really interested in the problem statement. You can read it and solve it on your own. But on this website, there are not a lot of hackathons happening, right? You can see just three I can see on this front page. So I'll give you a lot of other options. So this was the first uh, option that is Hacker Earth. Now let's talk about Unstop. So that is another website. And through this company, uh, I won one hackathon in my second year. So, and I think that was my first hackathon. So this is really uh close to my heart this website and on this unstop you can click on uh, let me just sign in and now you can click on compete so i'm going to go on compete section and you can click on hackathon so you can see that other competitions are there quizzes are there hiring challenges are there and you can see all the dream companies are also hiring over here right now let's click on hackathons and you can see that a lot of hackathons are listed over here more than hacker earth right so this is again a very good website. Now you can see that there is a uh, entry fees also, but if you want to just skip this part, you can just click on all filters and click on payment and make it free and click on show results. So now you will see all the free hackathons. So start with free. There is no need to fill a submission fee or a entry fees at the start if you are in second year or third year. And if you're in final year and you're pretty much confident that you can really beat this hackathon 
and uh, then you can really pay this fees but i think that for the first few hackathons go ahead with the free hit and just uh, learn a lot from these hackathons right so you can see that a lot of hackathons and then you can also choose your a uh, field you choose your tech stack like you are really good in deep learning then select the deep learning filter and then you will see all the hackathons which are specialized for deep learning enthusiasts right so this is the second website and here also you can practice uh, other things other things that are good for placements and internships so this is again a very good platform that i have given to you right now let's see the third thing and that is dev post right so on this dev post uh, i uh, i want two hackathons uh, like not just me me and my team and my friend uh, who participated we want two hackathons one was i guess solvethon which was conducted by cognizant and uh, second was envirathon so that was based on a problem statement that should be related to environment right so we built a project uh, that project name was rebuild hub and we built that project and uh, i guess i think we came second in that right so now click on hackathons and there are two things hackathons and projects so on this thing you can also view projects that were created during the hackathon by other team members by other participants by other contestants right so you can see who was the winner so you can see who was the winner and you can read about this project you can read the code and this is a very good thing which i which i find in dev post and also in one more website that i'm going to come right now right so now click on hackathons and uh, you can see that again a good uh, filter filtering option I, i get over here that you want to keep it online so in covid period in lockdown i was making it i was just participating in the online events there were only online there were no in person events right at that moment and you can click on upcoming then i guess 1 to 6 days is a very good time 1 to 4 be- weeks really become uh, a long period and uh, really you can't wait that much time for the results so i really choose the hackathons which are just for a day two days or maximum for a week right not just not for one month or two months right so click on 1 to 6 days and then you can uh, select your uh, field so uh, you can select blockchain you can say web dev ar vr gaming and you can see that these hackathons are getting updated right over here right and you can see a very good prize pool is also here right so this was a uh, next website dev post now let's see dev folio so dev folio is another platform and over here uh, so basically what uh, this platform uh, model is that uh, various in you you also know that in your college is also some uh, clubs will be there and they will try to conduct a hackathon in other websites also they can do and they can register themselves over here and then they will share this dev folio link and other participants or other uh, contestants teams can register over here right so over here i think that there will be uh, yeah so you can see over here these are the hackathons which are currently open you can click on apply now and start participating don't think that if you will win or not i guarantee that uh, you will always win because you are always going to exit with more amount of knowledge right so this is again a very good thing and that you are able to see the project so if i uh, try to go in discover then i go in uh, project spotlight and i go over here so i can see the project descriptions what is there in this project and let me i also found one more thing let me just search for it uh yes i found it so go in the past events past hackathons click on see projects and then you will be able to see all the projects that were submitted during this hackathon right uh, i don't think it is not loading but yeah it will load and you will be able to see all the projects that were submitted during this hackathon right so you can take inspiration from them you can create your own projects you can uh, see what they have done what you are missing so all those things you can do right over here okay there are zero projects for this hackathon so i'll go back and i will see for hack hustle okay it was offline so these are all offline events so let me see if i can see an online event and i can show you the projects right so let's see yeah these are all the online events click on see projects and there you go so you can see all the online projects that were submitted during this hackathon they are all over here you can just go and you can uh, read about uh, this projects what they have done what the submission they have done right so this was another website that is dev folio now next website is only relevant for indian students and i guess you have already got the idea that is sih so this is not a website where you will find a lot of hackathons but there is smart india hackathon that happens uh, every year 
so basically your college needs to uh, nominate your team for this smart india hackathon and uh, you need to choose a submission you need to choose a problem statement then you need to fill your own submission and uh, the results will come and then you have to go offline for the finale so this is only for the indian students because this is only for indian colleges i basically uh, do a lot of projects by just taking one random problem statement from sih right so you need to go and discover about sih then click on problem statements and then you need to choose a hardware statement or a software statement and then you can start your own project right so you can see all the themes are there and there are a lot of problem statement available over here around 459 software related problem statements right so now let's talk about uh, how can you win hackathons right so i'll give you three ideas three ideologies that you have to keep in mind when you are participating in a hackathon and you are uh, pitching for the final submission right so first of all your project your problem statement if you have chosen if it was a liberty that you can choose your own problem statement then you need to keep in mind that your problem statement should put some good impact on the society if that is the case then it really increases your chance for winning the hackathon because hackathons are really meant for uh, putting a good impact on the society right how much at this young age how much you are thinking about the society right because products anyone can build product startups are also building companies are also building investors businessmen all are building products but if you are building such a product which can which puts a good impact on the society then it's a really good thing and then it really increases your chance for winning the hackathon right so first was so this was the first thing second thing is working prototype doesn't matter how much theoretical your presentation is or how much you are speaking in the final submission pitch doesn't matter it's okay if you have less features but you should be ready with a working prototype it can be an app it can be a machine learning model it can be a website it can be a open cv model like which is able to detect your faces and everything so it can be any working prototype but it should be working at some level right so this was the second tip that i wanted to give you third thing is how much you are thinking about the future scope and scalability of the project so if you have inserted two or three slides on future scope and um, uh, how can your project become scalable how can you bring more and more users how can you bring in more uh, beta testers then it really puts a good impact on the judges that you are really concerned uh, outside of this hackathon also it doesn't it should not be the case that you are only worried about winning this hackathon and just uh, making this project only for this hackathon if they know that you are creating this project if you don't even win but you are still going to make it scalable you are still going to run it then definitely they will help you with the prize pool money or by making you win right so this was the third tip that i wanted to give you or it really becomes uh, super simple for you to win a, any hackathon whether it's a college hackathon or it's an international hackathon or a national hackathon right so i hope that you like this video and do follow me on linkedin and instagram i am push publishing out some really great content for college students and for freshers so do follow me there till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot